in any disaster, your livestock need protection too. In case of nuclear attack, radiation is as dangerous to animals as it is to people. A good animal shelter is a two-story basement type barn with a hay-filled loft. You can get better protection by piling hay along the sides of the building. This gives more shielding and shielding cuts the radiation danger. There are many more farm facilities that can be adapted to serve as some kind of shelter. For detailed information, get your free copy of Your Livestock Can Survive Fallout. In an emergency, shelter your livestock, then take shelter yourself. Right now, as you're watching this program, suppose you suddenly heard the wail of the alert. Would you know what to do? First, keep calm. Panic simply wastes valuable time. Gather all canned goods, blankets, and extra clothing. Don't forget a flashlight, a can opener, portable radio, and extra batteries. Fill all available bottles with water. Take everything to the shelter. If no shelter is available, go to a basement corner without windows. Stay inside your shelter until you're told it's safe to leave. You could have made things easier for yourself by preparing all these things before the emergency occurred. Suppose you don't have a fallout shelter and you have several hours warning after the attack but before the radioactive fallout reaches your area. What can you do? You head for a corner of your basement away from doors and windows. Sandbags or concrete blocks, even bales of hay or fertilizer will give you some protection. Remember the important point about radioactive fallout is shielding. More shielding between you and the radiation, more protection. There are many things you can improvise if you have the time. But how much better to be safe? Develop a shelter project in advance. In the early periods of American history, every family had a survival plan. When a fire, flood, or Indian attack came, everyone was prepared. It had to be that way, because early Americans lived in dangerous times. We, too, live in dangerous times. To survive, we must be just as alert, just as prepared as our forefathers. Do you have a family survival plan? If not, start one now. There's a civil defense booklet filled with facts and tips to help you make preparations for any disaster, natural or nuclear. Plan now, and no matter what happens, you will be ready. Get your free copy of Your Family Survival Plan from your county agent or civil defense director. Almost every home has a potential shelter. Take a good look around your home. Find the safest area. Then decide what needs to be done to add to the protection. But don't let that enthusiasm carry you away. Have an organized plan. Getting that home shelter built is mighty important to you and your family. A little money, a few extra hours, can turn your home into the safest place for you and your family.
have an organized plan. See your county agent or local civil defense director. Accidents can happen everywhere to everyone. During a nuclear attack or even a natural disaster, medically trained personnel might not be able to reach you. That's why it's important that you take a first aid course. Even in your daily living, first aid will prove helpful. And during a national emergency, it will be invaluable. Be prepared. Have a good first aid kit available and learn how to use it. Enroll in your local first aid and medical self-help courses. No one can predict the future. The most we can do is to be prepared for whatever might happen. That's why we carry auto, fire, and life insurance. But what about another kind of insurance? Insurance that will protect your farm from possible nuclear war. An insurance called preparedness. Do you know which animals need the most protection from fallout? or how you will feed your livestock during fallout. Your farm preparedness plan, prepared by the Department of Agriculture, is geared to help you check out your disaster preparations, to enable you to prepare for emergencies quickly and efficiently. Ask for your free copy of Your Farm Preparedness Plan. When radioactive fallout drifts to the ground, it may look like very fine dust particles. These particles are only dangerous to living things. This fruit would be perfectly safe to eat if you just peel it. In disposing of the peelings, remember that they may still contain radioactive material. Canned goods, bottles, or jars should be washed carefully before using. Scrubbing vegetables and peeling fruit makes the food perfectly safe to eat. Most inanimate things contaminated by fallout can be washed and used. Cut the danger of radioactive fallout. Learn what to do. During any disaster, natural or nuclear, you may be forced to survive for a few weeks with the supplies you have on hand. Will you be prepared? We suggest you store a 14-day supply of food. Choose foods your family likes that require little or no water, can be eaten without heating, are put up in one meal size, and can be rotated in your home food supply. Remember, a strong defense begins with a prepared family and ends with a protected nation. Be prepared. Store your emergency food supply today. Water, a necessity, a vital part of our lives. So readily available that we take it for granted. But any disaster could cut off our water supply. Remember, there are many reserves in your home water system. The water heater, pipes or tanks contain safe water. 
the ice cubes in the freezer can be easily melted. If you are given advanced warning, fill all available jars and bottles. Sinks and bathtubs will hold large amounts of water. For protection from dust or dirt, simply cover with plastic. Remember, any emergency can be met if you know what to do in advance.